This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust on your eyes. Sway in the morning, Shake for five. We're getting set. We got special guests coming in today. Have the beers, the Friday Fire Cipher. I love it. So we got some um, inspiring MCs. Some are already put in the groundwork to be here. Theodore Grams is coming here today. Theodore. Kid Genius is coming here today. Uh-huh. Locksmith is coming here My today. My money is on the lock. And the legendary Pete Rock Man. will be here today playing beats under these artists. I can't believe that. Like, they should really, really be excited. You get Pete Rock to play beats for you to rhyme over? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And then also the son of John Ritter from Three's Company and other uh, TV fame. Rest in peace. His son, Jason Ritter, is going to come by here today. All right. And uh, my good friend, man, my my (laughs) radio brethren is here. Yes. You know, you may see him on TV. Let me give you a list of his credits, okay? Uh Okay. Here we go. The CBS show, The Insider. Okay, The Talk. He's been on that Wendy Williams show, nice. Meredith Vieira's show, Chelsea Lately show. Damn. But it didn't matter till he came to Sway in the Morning. That's, that's right. That's the that one and only Michael Yo is here. Yeah. Hey. What's, up, Mike? What's up, man? man hey, Mike, I'm, you're leaving me hanging oh, on camera. I'm sorry, I'm sorry All right, thank that. you, man. Was that, a, was that a joke? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying attention to your ladies over oh, okay. here. I wasn't even what looking up? at you. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Go for it, man. That's another B. I listen every morning. I know who they are. He's a citizen. That's right. I listen. I listen. I love it. Okay, who's the other girl there? Oh, Damn. Oh, oh, wait, well, you can curse oh. her. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Oh, wait, Heather B. But, uh-huh. Oh, my God, hang on. Damn. Every my morning, My name's huh? not a curse word. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Listen, every morning, Give me the first, huh? no, I do. <laughs> give, me the, give me the first, first letter. First letter, T. Last letter is G. Damn. Damn, Michael, you lose it. <laughs> I do listen every morning. Mike, uh, meet Have, my co-worker. Hold on. You ready? No, tell me. Here she is with the celebrity <laughs> wire, that's... Uh. Tracy G. G. Oh, Tracy. Yes, that <laughs> you know what, Tracy G? I'm so mad at myself right now. I'm mad at you, too. No, I, I am Same very team. upset right now. <laughs> I am pissed off at myself. Oh, okay. I'm t- meeting you in person, Michael. All right. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what's interesting? Tracy, her star is rising now. But rappers are starting to mention her in metaphors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know. That's when you know you made it. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Rapper. Rappers oh, start talking. Right. You made it. They made it. Rapper put you in a metaphor. <laughs> hey, so, uh, Mike, you, you yeah. got a performance tonight, right? Yeah. Uh, tonight and tomorrow, Stress Factory in New Jersey. Okay. Uh, New Brunswick. Uh, it's my first night there. My jeans got stolen last night Yo, out jeans? of my hotel. Uh, That's my first time. Yeah. Uh, what hotel things? is this? Uh, Hilton. Like, they put me in wow. a Hilton out there. Uh-huh. So I check into my room, and it's the first time I ever performed last night in a suit because they stole all my jeans. So I left my luggage outside for a second, and they went through my luggage and stole all my jeans. They stole your jeans? So welcome to New Jersey, I guess. In New huh? Brunswick? Yes. You know why? Here's the thing. I got to <laughs> <gotta, I gotta laughs> represent my state. Let me represent uh-huh. my state. Rutgers University is down in that area. Yes. You know, college kids are hungry and thirsty. They got to make their way. So blame it on the college but, kids. The state of New Jersey is not like that. But somebody really scoped me out to steal my jeans because I'm 6'3". You know, yeah. you, you got to really watch me. Athletes my... are broke. <laughs> That's, true. That's true. I'm trying to tell you what okay, happened, okay, Michael. Okay, there you go. So, so bless you, Michael. Yo, man, they're going to post those jeans online and get money, man. Shit, they ain't getting nothing. <laughs> they ain't getting nothing. Trust me, Swag. All right, so Mike is going to hang out with us. We got Celebrity Wire up next. Yeah, we got to talk about Sarah Palin's daughter and why she feels oh. like she's disappointed the world. I want to get your perspective on that. Michael, yo, up next and Celebrity Wire, Sway in the morning. You know what I'm talking about? man when you get older things change because everything becomes a mathematical calculation around sleep when you get older you need to know how much sleep you're going to get before you even leave the house you do the math in your head you're like it's 11 o'clock right now i'll be home around one i gotta be at work at six that's only five hours of sleep oh no i can't do that who can function up for five hours of sleep Yo, That's no booty one. calls, man. I can't do them anymore, Sway. Michael, yo, you, you can't know, even do booty calls? Man, I'm too old to do Get booty older. calls, man. Wow. If, it's like, if it's like 5.30 in the afternoon, yes. Right. Yeah, you got you you to pace it 35 and older. It's funny, I'm laughing because last night I went to this event, Trailblazer Honors for Logo TV, and um, I took my lady and I took my daughter, and then when we got back to the house, it was like 10, and they kind of had all mm. this energy. And I was like, man, I got to go to sleep. I almost threw a fit. Oh, yeah. You like, know. <laughs> man, no, you, I got to go to sleep. You know what's funny? When you're younger, when you go out, it's like, oh, I can't wait to go out and, and party. Yeah. When you go out older, it's like, I can't wait to go home. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Accurate. That's what it's about, man. You're clock checking. That's clock I hate it, checking. man. I balance out hours. If I lose hours on a Monday, I got to make it up. 
by it, Thursday. And yeah. I need eight hours of sleep. Absolutely. So I can't That's why brunch is huge, because no one wants to be out at night. Thank is you. Is that why they invented brunch, Tracy? I think so, Michael. <laughs> Tracy G. Tracy G. <laughs> All right, Michael, Tracy y'all G. is here with the, what's her name, Mike? Tracy G. Damn, well you're a quick learner. Uh, so I'm you half put, Asian. I know this. That's right. Are you good with math? I'm great with math. No, it's got so. bad credit. That's it. That's it? <laughs> Half black and Asian. That's it, man. Damn. That's it. Oh, damn, you a hybrid. Uh, <laughs> are you great at hacking? Uh, no, nah, I can't do none that's of that. That's the black side? <laughs> that's the black side. I can't fucking okay. know that side. My- Asian side. Man, I, you know, I'm not good at math, and I was very upset. So my dad, here's what's funny. My dad has a PhD in nuclear physics, and he's Ooh. black. Damn. So, oh, and it's so, opposite. My mom dropped out of high school, so they totally so they get, flipped roles. Oh, wow. So the, the dumb yeah. side is your Asian side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Swag. a first. Um, <laughs> Swag getting it. real ratio in there. It's yeah. rare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's facts. All right, it Michael. Is facts. Michael Yo is joining us. Um, you can catch him tonight and through the weekend, right? Stress Factory. Come on out, New Jersey. New okay. Brunswick. Bring me some jeans. There it is. You need them. Uh, it's time for Celebrity Wire. Whether it's A-list celebrities, you're the biggest star in the world right now, or D-list has-beens. Loser! You're a loser! You make me sick, you big baby! All the gossip, rumors, and news is right here in Celebrity Wire. All these famous people are doing some crazy things. Sounds like good gossip to me. On Sway in the Morning. All right, Tracy G, what you got? Gosh, yo, Bobby Schmurter, y'all remember him? Yeah, man. All right, so Bobby, he has these stack of troubles that just keep climbing higher and higher. So, you know, he's currently behind bars. He has these charges of drug conspiracy. He's got gun charges toted on him. And now it's being said that while he's in the clink, the clink, he was actually holding on to a shank which is a sharpened metal object. So that's not really going to help him once he is in front of the judge again. His trial has actually been postponed to October 2015. Let me also remind you also remind you that his plea deal that's being offered is eight years in prison mm. with five years probation. Um, he's still being held on $2 million bail, which has not been paid by nobody anybody. Gonna, no, no, nobody's going to pay that. Nobody's going to pay that. No, no, how do you get a shank in jail? Like, like, did he bring it in there? No, <laughs> nah, man, you can't. They make them. They make them in jail. Oh, I know. Have you, have you been to jail? I've never been to jail. Me, me. I, I, I visited folks in jail. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, Wait a second. So what is Bobby Schmurter's charges? Yeah. Okay, so he has gang conspiracy. He's got weapons and mm. he's got drug charges. So Bobby Schmurter is in jail on a $2 million bail with gang conspiracy charges and some weapons. And this little boy who murdered nine people in South Carolina has a million dollar bail yeah. mm-hmm. and can post a 10% bond at $100,000. Yeah. Mm. Secondly, yeah. Bobby Schmurter, that shank situation in New York Daily News and the New York Post was reporting that he's been in so many fights in jail that I think at this point he's probably just trying to protect, protect himself. himself. Yeah. 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 You know, so yeah. you got to grab a toothbrush, shave it down, do something because they That's how you make him. a shank, Michael. Oh, okay. Oh, exactly. yeah. Man, I would be somebody's bitch. Somebody told me I that. I ain't never done that, Michael. Somebody would be banging me in jail. I, I'm just saying. Oh, my goodness. I I, that I, Asian booty? No. Hey, <laughs> you're like, he's exotic. He's so exotic. <laughs> Top or bottom, Mike? That Asian ass. <laughs> oh, gosh. A little bit All of right. black, a little bit of Asian. Let's go. In other news, so we all are very clear on the drama that's happening in UCLA with Diddy versus this coach, oh, Sal Alassi. Sal reportedly was just getting on his son, Justin, too hard. We heard that he was running like this campaign of psychological warfare for the past three years. And now an example is coming out where sources, they hit up TMZ and they say at some point, um, Justin, he skipped practice to go over to be courtside at a basketball game. All-star game to be exact. And um, the coach, Sal, he's a tough one. He wasn't really feeling it. He took a photo of Justin courtside, reportedly put it on all of the television screens inside of the locker room mm-hmm. at practice and was like, yo, while y'all are training, I want y'all to peep your teammate over here courtside, not with you. And he kept it there for 24 hours. I like that. You do I, like I, I have no problem with a coach being a coach. When ha- why are guy- football players so sensitive today? I played for the <laughs> University of Arkansas. Oh, did you? Yeah, you know Ready what I mean? Back? And they were mean. They yeah. were very mean. But that's what a coach does. And he, it's not like he put this picture on TV. He uh-huh. put it in the locker room so everybody could see the integrity 
of their teammate and for your dad to come in yeah. and try to protect that's just ridiculous. So that, you, so that's you being you, you, a spoiled brat. That, you think he's a spoiled brat? Absolutely. Yeah. Be a man. Take the punishment. Run your laps. <laughs> do that. Don't have your daddy coming out there and but, fighting for you. But it feels like this coach got something in for this dude because of his daddy. Who his daddy is? Guess what? A coach has something in for everybody. Really? If you mess up, if if you were courtside and yeah. you played on a football team, you would be up on that screen too. He's treat. Look, coaches pick people they want to pick on. Yes. But you're playing football. It's a man's game. If you want to play volleyball or something like that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not dissing women. Volleyball I'm not dissing not a, women. No, it's a, it's a rough sport. Okay. But I'm saying be a man, take the punishment, and move on. You know, don't have you. I mean, in, if you look at reports, they didn't even want to recruit the kid. They recruit him because of his dad. That's okay, a report then, that came okay. out from a scout, one of the guys that used to work. There. So aren't they in the wrong for recruiting? Because then they bro- they they by recruiting him just because of his dad. They, Absolutely, they're in the wrong. But that writers. dude's not there anymore. That guy's not there no more. He's not there anymore. Okay. Yeah, they're in the wrong. But I really and I know y'all probably got a good relationship with Diddy, and I like Diddy as well. Do you but I just to, think, you don't have to qualify. That. He's already going <laughs> to hit you with a kettlebell. I know. Right? I'm, 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 like, I'm backing that. out now. Yeah, yeah, you know, don't up. My Asian side is kicking. Oh no, no trouble. Don't want no trouble. <laughs> All right, Michael, I'm going to help you That's out. That's Michael, yo, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to give you another story. So Sarah Palin, you know, very memorable for attempting to run for presidency to no success. But she's got a daughter, Bristol Palin. She's 24 years old. Now, what's interesting about Bristol is um, she emphasized abstinence a lot in her work. <laughs> she was always doing this national camp- campaign to prevent teen Those and unplanned pregnancy. Right. <laughs> so she already had one child out of wedlock, right? And then she just announced yesterday that she's expecting a second child via the same manner. So she put out a little post on her blog. She said, I know this has been and will be a huge disappointment to my family, to my close friends, to many of you. But please respect Trips, that's her son's name, and my privacy during this time. I don't want any lectures and I don't want any sympathy. My little family always has and always will come first. So that's kind of an exercise the, in hypocrisy. Okay, can, can I say Dr. something Michael, real? yo, please. <laughs> yo, can I say something yes. about this, too? I don't like when, cele- and I interview celebrities all that. I don't like when celebrities ask for privacy, but they release a press release. Right. About it. Yeah. I, I didn't know you were pregnant till you told me you were pregnant for the second time. So I would have left you alone. Exactly. Now you put it out there, and and those are the ones we talked about. Those are the ones that say, you know, abstinence. I'm not having sex. Those are the ones that get pregnant all the yeah. time. Yeah. And Sarah Palin's your mom. Uh, let's, right? be on, uh, let's be honest. She's no. your mom. She's crazy. Now, do, is it the same? <laughs> <laughs> it's not it, the same dude. Oh, so she got two baby daddies? Exactly. Ex- oh, yeah. she been freaking. She getting around. Oh, you know? I, I like good Bristol. Good for her. She's get being young. Yeah. My thing is good for her. Have sex. Do your thing. But don't preach abstinence. Yeah. Don't preach this. It was all for political reasons. I don't know if you saw the movie Game Changer on I HBO. I did see that movie. Oh, my God. This woman was a heartbeat away from bringing the president of the United States, Sarah Palin. Yeah. That's like Donald Trump right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just fun to watch, but you don't want to take it seriously. She was never going to be... That McCain, <laughs> McCain was never going to get elected. Well, well, well uh, hopefully not. not yeah, but yeah. you know what, man? Enough white people rally and stop voting for ethnics. It may happen. You, <laughs> you know, know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you got DJ Wonder got excited. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Right, so yes. That's, white people stick with your own kind. Yeah, that's why got DJ Wonder. The sheet just went over his head. <laughs> All right, this uh, what is else? insane. What else you got, Tracy? <laughs> Jennifer Aniston, real quick. You know, Jennifer. I feel like her entire career has just been people feeling sorry for her mm-hmm. ever since Brad Pitt. You know, got with um Angelina exactly and now <laughs> she found this is how the beast, the beast type of gossip I, I love that that white gossip Go she ahead, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so Jennifer now in 2015 you know you think she's getting older she's getting wiser well she just had to call off another engagement did she really yeah and w- supposedly Justin Theroux you know it. No way. But get this. What's Radar that? Online is saying she confronted the other woman. He was having an affair. <sighs> why people this hits me hard. Allegedly. Why? Why? Yeah, oh, I, I have a great relationship with Jennifer Aniston. Like, we like, are do, you, do you have like, her fr- number in your phone? Uh, no. No, okay. but when we see each other, <laughs> when we see each other, she screams out my name all the time. She okay. comes up to me. She sends me cards in the mail. Uh-huh. She hand writes them. Get that rebound. I, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> but what I'm saying, she is the nicest person. Like Steph Curry, I t- in real life, she is the nicest person. And people won't let go of this Angelina Jolie thing. Yeah, it, like it, has It's has been, what, 12 years? 12 years. Has yeah. she ever talked about, I'm tired of hearing about Angelina? Yes, she has. Yeah. You know, why? I mean, it's like when everybody hit up Justin Timberlake about Britney Spears 15 yeah. years later. <laughs> 
yeah. you over Britney? It's like that was fit. I was like twelve. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. But I. But why I, she can't hold a man? What is that? But she's a beautiful woman. She, she seems like she smokes weed. Y'all smoke together? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, my God, my God. <laughs> we friends. Oh my God. Yeah, no, 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 no. I she, but me? that I don't know. I I think it's maybe maybe and correct me if I'm wrong, ladies. Maybe ladies get to a point in their life where they're like, look, she's what, she 45 now, 46. Yeah, but look, something. Great. She looks great. Maybe yeah. people get it to a point in their lives where, like, I'm happy to be alone. I'll date, but I don't need to be married and locked up. Maybe yeah. it's time for a black dude. <laughs> or a half Ooh. black and Asian dude. Oh, oh. I think it's self can you, out there. Can you imagine oh. me and Angelina? I mean, me and oh, Jennifer see, Aniston. Yeah. 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 But can you imagine me and Jennifer Aniston have a baby? Angelina would be so jealous. She'd be trying to adopt our kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michael Yo is here. I'm curious, women have had to uh, leave a man at the altar. Mm. Ooh. If you ever had to do that, leave your man just before getting married because of what you found out. 888-742-3345. Ooh. All right, Sway in the morning, 25 minutes into the hour. Uh, we were asking people if you had to confront... Uh, your significant other's mistress or what's the opposite of mistress? Hmm. We all dumb in here. I heard you. <laughs> what do you mean? Mistress. A mistress? So, yeah, yeah a mistress. Yeah. If the man was, uh, if your man was cheating or if your woman was cheating mm-hmm. and you had to confront the other person, uh, give us a call because you're not alone. 888-742-3345. Allegedly, the same thing happened to Jennifer Aniston. Exactly. That's where this is all being kindled from. Jennifer, she was supposed to be getting engaged to Justin Thoreau. Great looking dude. Fucked up, though. Mm-hmm. She confronted the other woman. Now, Michael Yo is here. Hold on, Mike. Okay. Mike is performing tonight and yeah. throughout the weekend. Tell him what you're performing. Stress Factory, man. Stress Factory, New Jersey, New Brunswick. Uh, two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. Okay. Uh, so come on out. Now, he's also the CBS show, The Insider. Yeah, Chelsea uh, Lately, all that. Okay, all that. And so we got the inside scoop on Jennifer, mm-hmm. being that he's from The Insider. And she's so nice. Yes. Mm. And she's beautiful. She she's like a it. very kind person. Yeah. Like you said, I don't know why people keep cheating on her. Yeah, I don't get it, man. But 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 men What's her are dogs. Game like? What's her hair game like? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but men are just dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's gorgeous. I don't know why why men are cheating on her. You know what I, I mean? I but men cheat on everybody. Yeah. True. Good you point. know, it's Good not point. just her. She's just famous and we're talking about it. And we're it. talking about it, but it's just seem she has so she looks great on paper. Uh-huh. And she looks great off paper. No, she does look great and, off and paper. And you know her personally, like it seemed like her demeanor is really laid back. Laid back, cool. Every every time I'm with her, like the letter she sent me was uh, I interviewed her about 10 times in a row, right? And we just became friends. And then she wrote me a letter and said, it was, it's so nice to have a person like you in the industry that it just makes everything easy. And handwritten, sent it to me with a nice card. Yeah, People don't do that. Did it smell like perfume? It smelled good. She yeah. wants that exactly. dark meat. No. She ready to go over to the other side. Let's be real. But, but is it the pressure of a man once he gets to the point where he's going to get married? He's like, I got to get one in. I got to get one in. Because a girl told me, Three weeks ago, because I'm probably going to get engaged soon. Whatever you do, do it before. Mm. Because then... Fill it, your it's quota, because it's a wrap after It's a that. wrap, and that's what they said. But that's, wow. scary. that's scary, man. Wow, we got Crystal on the line from Louisiana. Crystal, good morning. How you Crystal. doing? Hey, Crystal. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, Crystal. So, hey. so, so you know Jennifer Aniston had to confront the mistress. Did you have to do that before? Yes, I did, actually. Mm. What happened? Um, I found out about her. Of course, guys are kind of crazy uh, via phone. I looked her up and I called her and I told her who I was. And uh, I called her at work. So she had to remain professional to a certain extent. Um, and uh, she started crying and telling me how sorry she was. I told her, there's no need to apologize. You did what you felt like you needed to do at the moment. However, I did my research. I found out that you have a husband and a four-year-old son. Ooh. I will call your leadership. I will call your husband and let him know what's going on, and he and I can determine your fate. Oh, oh wow. my God. You got vindictive. Right. Like, no, you mad at her no. for banging out your man. Were you mad at him? Yeah, what's his That's, fate? No, it, wasn't, it wasn't me being mad at her. It was just, hey, I'm home now. Know your place. I'm military. So when I'm out oh. and I'm deployed, um, 
things happen uh, in various situations, whether you're married or you're dating. However, I solidified my position by saying, baby, I'm home now. Try it again, and I got you. Okay. So what would you tell your man? Yeah, I'm What would you tell that. your man? Because that's fine going after another woman, but your man was in this, too. He's got to get it worse, actually. I fixed him. I fixed him. Like I said, I got a brand new car. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you're just enough. pimping at the end of the day. Mm. Let me ask you, be honest, Crystal. When you were uh, deployed, did you cross the line at all? Friendship wise, yes, it's still considered cheating. Did yes. you did friendship wise? So did that does that mean you kiss someone? No, but I fell I fell in like with someone very much so that I considered that if I found out anything was going on in my marriage, I considered ending it just for this person because of how close we kind of grew together. Just uh-huh. kind of being deployed and being under under fire like that. You kind of grow to know people, and unfortunately, friendship-wise, I I definitely had feelings for this person, but the whole time I was trying to respect the boundaries and see what was going to go on because this person was stationed with me back at home base, too. So I I get get that. Did did, did you tell your husband about that person? Mm. Yes, I did. Mm, Mm, Before or after you found out about his side? Afterwards, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so she was gonna hold it, you know. Um, <laughs> she was like, "I yeah. could have yeah. fucked somebody yeah. else." Yeah. And you, you, blah 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 yeah. blah blah. Hey. Crystal, wild Crystal. Boy. First of all, we want to salute you for your service to this country, and uh, and thank you for that much. Okay. Oh, thank you. Right. So much. And, I will say, my husband met up with the guy too, and they had their conversation. So oh, man, oh, okay. this is weird. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, way yeah, too yeah, weird. Man. This is a, for no that's reason. a reality show. This is like a Jerry Springer episode, yeah, right, right there. That's our show, Sway in the yeah, Morning. It is. All right, we got more callers on the line. Leave your voicemail at eight eight eight. 742-3345. Tracy G, thank you for that celebrity wire. Of course. If you want to talk with Tracy G, you can all day, every day. Do that, sisters. Y'all know I love you. Twitter, Instagram, hit me up, at it's Tracy G, I-T-S, J-A-C-Y-G. And if you missed any part of the show, you want to run it back over the weekend today, whatever, SiriusXM.com backslash on demand. Michael, yo. Yes. Thank you for coming thank through, you, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Tracy G. Have a uh-huh. big <laughs> Well done. Hey, Michael. <laughs> listen, y'all want to hit up Michael, yo, and just get the inside school. Pin him up all day, to give me your social media. Yeah, at Michael Yo Instagram. I'm just pushing the Instagram. That's what I'm all about okay, now. Instagram. Instagram at Michael Yo. And if you're in New York, CBS, I come on every night at 7 o'clock. There it is. The there insider, is. man. And he's going to be performing tonight. Stress Factory. Stress Factory. Uh, News Brunswick? New Brunswick. New Brunswick. New Brunswick. New Brunswick. Okay. Yeah, they got good food there. All right. <laughs> all right, Mike. Thanks for coming by, man. All right. Thank you. All right. Later on in the show, Pete Rock is going to be here in about 30 minutes, a legendary producer. And um, he's going to be playing beats in our Friday Cypher. For uh, Locksmith, uh, let me see, Theodore Grams and Kid Genius. And later on the show, Jason Ritter will be here. But right now, man, we got another Philly DJ, have the B. Mm. You know I love the Philly the DJ. Philly DJ. Well, he's kind of Philly by, by well, you know, he's Houston. For sure, definitely from Houston. By way of Philly. You were born in Philly, though, I was right? born in Philly, moved to Houston when I was like 9, 10 years old. Okay, so, so you were a Houston DJ then, uh, man. I'm from Houston for sure, but, you know, I still got all the family out there in Philly, so. Okay. He's Coast Kid Jersey. My mom's from East Orange, New Jersey. Yeah, okay. All right. Trying to rep it. Okay. Trying to rep for real. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here. The one and only DJ Chase B is here, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Chase. Hold up, man. What's up, Sway? What's up, Sway? I'm ready to go, man. man. You know I see me. you, man. Give me, give me a second, <laughs> man. All right. What's uh, up, so Sway? What's going on in that Houston scene, man? I remember, you know, it was for a minute, you know, with uh, Chameleon there and, mm-hmm. you know, uh, Paul Wall and... Mike 5000. Man, Watch before out. that, Lil yeah. Kiki. Lil Kiki. Oh, I grew up with that. Yeah. I'm glad you said I'm from that Houston. Too. Y'all, you from Houston? Yeah. What oh, part okay. of Houston you from, man? Hold on. Let well, me check I'm, real from, quick. Uh, I'm from uh, Scarsdale by uh, Almeda Mall, the one that closed down, the ghetto mall yeah, yeah. that closed down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And, that, and, 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 and mm-hmm. so, what's going on with <laughs> Houston today? Ghetto Boys, boys Rap a Lot yeah, Records, sure. Zero, you know, yeah. all, all these DJ City Dawn right there. Yeah. Okay. So, who? Kirk Bangs is more of the new generation. Right, right, right. So, what's the latest generation in Houston? Houston. Um, of course, we got Kirko. We got you know Travis Scott. Of course, um, Max O'Cream. He's he's kind of like next up right now. As Look far at as the Houston wrist. Goes. Uh, Chetty Connect. Connect. Of course, yeah, he's, can, uh, he killing it, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'm I'm really happy for that record. I remember like it came out like a year and a half ago. I was actually at like the release party in Houston. And then a year later, you know, we in New York, and you know, it's like the hottest record in the club. So okay. Now Houston got a huge wave. I think it's coming, y'all. Yeah, I think we can have another run like we did in like. 2002 to like 2006, I think. Yeah, it's we was all over that one yeah, on exactly. MTV. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. I think I think it can happen again, like very, very soon. All I'm right, man. Y'all better make Bun B should never have to pay for a meal. 
No matter where he goes, <laughs> that's he right. Like, sure he that's doesn't, right. Man. All right. He probably got sandwiches all that named after him everywhere he goes. I'm sure he does. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Chase. How can they reach you, <laughs> man? Bun Social media. Hot dog. <laughs> the burger. The bun bun burger. Yeah. Bun 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 hot dog. <laughs> Scar, <laughs> Scarface. Scarface. All that. All that. Where you going in, man? Oh my God. We're talking too much. Now. Okay. You want a DJ? Okay. How can how can they reach you, Chase? Now it's uh Twitter. Instagram, SoundCloud, all that. It's all OG Chase B, man. Hit me up on there. You know, I'm, you know, pretty more active on, on Instagram than Twitter, but you know, it's it's all on there. OG Chase B. OG Chase B. For listen, sure. citizens, listen to this mix. Hit him up. Tell him exactly what you think. All right. If he's dope, let him know he's dope. If he's not, you know what to do. All right. <laughs> it's the one and only DJ Chase B. Sway in the morning, shave four five. It's Sway in the morning, only on Shade 45.